to tennis players, but uh, I don't think it worked. So this is about a golfer. There's so many, so many here there as well, I think, yeah. But this uh, American guy came over to Ireland anyway, and he, we had the head for Killarney. And he was on his own. So he wanted to play golf. So he needed a partner to play with him. So he went to the local golf club and he said, would anyone here to play with me? He says, I'd be fairly handy now, so I want a fairly good... Oh, Michaelin is your man, he says. We'll give you his phone number. So he, Stuart, he contacted Michaelin and he arranged to meet the next morning. But Michaelin said, now he says, I'll be, I'll be there at nine o'clock, he says, but I could be a half an hour late. So Michaelin, anyway, turned up in the morning at nine o'clock with a set of left-handed clubs. And he played around the golf with the American. And he beat him fairly convincingly, you know. So the American wasn't taking this too, too handy, you know. He said, will you play me again tomorrow? I will, he said. He says, I meet you at nine o'clock, he says, but I could be a half an hour late. <laughs> so he arrives next morning, nine o'clock, with a set of right-handed golf clubs. So the American said, I'll have him today. But Mickey Lee and played just as well with the right-handed and beat him again convincingly. So he says, I'll have to play you once more, he said. So, right, he says, I'm meeting the morning at nine o'clock, he says, but it could be half an hour later. Hold on a minute, said the American, he says. You come out yesterday morning, you play left-handed. And you come out this morning, you play right-handed. How do you decide which way you're going to play? Well, he says, when I wake up in the morning, he says, I looked at the wife. If she's lying on her left side, I bring the left-handed clubs. If she's lying on her right-hand side, I bring the right-handed clubs. And what happens if she's lying on her back? I'll be half an hour late. <laughs> <laughs>